everybody, you're watching Crash Test Brit. Plays a game developed by Insomniac Games, the same people who bring you like resistance and stuff in modern day. Which features dragons flying through green minions of evil. It is Spyro the Dragon. Hi everyone, I'm back with a new series. It's been a good week or so since I've actually brought anything productive onto the channel. <laughs> um, because I've had to record this. This is my third time recording this now. I'm not even kidding. It's just been a, pr a different problem every time with the footage at the end. And uh, I finally got it fucking working. So that's where I got to last time. 23 dragons allegedly rescued. And we're starting again though. So uh, this, was, this game came out in 1998 uh, for the PlayStation 1 console. And it just basically... It was the king of... Um, many kids' childhoods. What the hell? Uh, it would help if I could see what I've got highlighted down there. No, that's load. Uh, <laughs> this is a good start, isn't it? Um, what do you mean? Oh, it's just... Yes! <laughs> I, I did it! <laughs> Slight ISO problem there. Never mind. In the world of dragons. Opening cutscene, ahoy! Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? Six. For a dragon's age. We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? 14. What about this Ganasty Ganort character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork. Ganasty Gnork. Say it right. contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is a ugly. Exactly the wrong thing to say. <laughs> Looks like I've got some things to do. Indeed. So, uh, that's where the game starts. You've got to run around, rescue all the dragons, collect all the gems, and beat the big bad boss at the end. Sounds about right, doesn't it? So, uh, here you are. This is where you start. In a nice, shiny, green world of green. Where the enemies are very cleverly camouflaged. So, uh, that's, that's, um, I suppose we'll just start by uh, jumping around for a bit. Oh. Hang on. Ah, oh, there we go. You picked up a gem. If you're wondering why the enemies are um, dropping gems, it's because not because they've nicked them, but because they were actually made out of the gems. Ooh. Um, I am playing this with a PlayStation 2 controller, uh, because I can, and also this is Techie's laptop that I'm recording this on, and uh, I don't really like her controls. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Yeah, Spyro has a little bit of an attitude problem. He's getting a bit big for his boots, bless him. <laughs> if he had boots. Of course. Hey, more enemies! So, um, yeah, basically what you can do in the game is you can charge around, you can glide places because he's a baby dragon and he can't fly. Bless him! And, um, you can flame things as well, which is really cool for a dragon. Rawr. Ow. And I, but I keep on charging into things just because I'm generally not very good at controlling. <laughs> Um, right, rescue another dragon. That's how you rescue dragons, you just walk up to them. Delbin! Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him! Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first! Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean. And there we go. So yes, I think that's the first time that uh, Spyro ever actually... Aha! Introduced himself to Sparks. I wondered where that guy went. He's trying to escape from me. <laughs> it's not going to work. Um, Where am I going? Over here. So yes, this is going to be a 100% uh, playthrough. 
if you didn't already know, I've I should be able to 100% this game. I did it. I did it once before, so uh, not really much. I shouldn't be able to do it again. You know. And another dragon, Thomas. Weird name for a dragon. Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide, and and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers. Oh, that. He's very good at inspiring confidence. I like that guy. He's <laughs> spurring me on to victory, you know. Um. Oh my god, does that guy actually have a mohawk? I think this is the first time I've ever actually realised that in all these years of bloody playing this game. <laughs> okay. Enemies with mohawks! <laughs> I think he's not the only one. There's plenty more enemies with mohawks. What can I say? It's a 90s game. <laughs> it was the 90s fashion. <laughs> oh, no, no. Stop falling and bumping into things. It's not productive. <laughs> so, let's just collect all the gems from up here. Shiny, shiny vortexes. It's so sparkly and pretty. Town Square. Let's not go in there yet. It's one of the levels. Right, uh, the first one we're going to tackle is Stonehill, simply because that's pretty much the first level. It's the one that stares you in the face when you start, so... Um, it's like, hey, I'm a level, come with me. <laughs> oh, right, so that's all that... Oh, sorry, I keep having to jiggle the camera, just getting comfy. So, um... Let's just ride around and collect everything I haven't already collected. Oh yes, I've not been in here yet. Let's speak to you, Mr. Dragon. Argus. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth. But you are not yet ready, Spider. <laughs> First you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Who do you think I am? Crash to spirit, and I'm generally shit at games. So he has every right to say that. <laughs> um Alright. A lot of this game will be gem collecting, but they're pretty, so I don't care. I like pretty stuff. <laughs> if you're not already aware. <laughs> I think you might be by now. Just from my constant reactions of PRETTY! From uh, the Crash Bandicoot playthrough. <laughs> and also, if you've watched out my joint channel with Law of Kaya, some bloody broadcast. I say pretty ceaselessly on it. So I've got a hundred out of a hundred gems. You're the balloonist, you'll take me to a different world. But I'm not ready for that yet. If you prove your worth by rescuing ten dragons, then you may use this balloon to fly to a new world. Techie's getting ready to throw something at me. <laughs> no! Ah, caught it. <laughs> I got caught on camera and everything, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I don't believe that just happened! <laughs> Alright, so I've got 100 out of 100 gems. <laughs> Take it, I'll stop laughing! <laughs> and 4 out of 4 dragons! <laughs> so we're off into the very imaginatively, creatively named Stonehill. <laughs> Oh my god. She won't start laughing. <laughs> oh, pretty, pretty level. Yeah, the whole of YouTube is going to see your bra. Well done. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> and yes, I do have Union Jack flag draped over me for no apparent reason. <laughs> Arr, challenge you! I win. <laughs> Dragon horns beat goat horns every time. Every time. <laughs> so, um. Oh my god, this is satisfying. Just look at all these boxes you can break! Um, yeah, if you've not already figured it out, some you need to charge through, some you need to flame. Or you can charge through those as well. Why not? So, who are you? You are. Lindar. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. 
Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Me run into trouble? Ha! <laughs> Surely you jest. So, um... Oh, God, I can't walk on that. There we go. I'm gonna actually save it uh, at this point. Even this, this thing is a built-in memory card. So I might as well use it. Why not? <laughs> Charge! And uh, jump down the well because there's some hidden things in here. <laughs> and uh, including a locked chest which I don't have key for yet. I know where it is and I'm coming back for it. Gavin! What? Watch the dragonfly Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. <laughs> He sounds extremely convinced. <laughs> so, um, yeah, some of the dragons have very appropriate dragonish names, you know? Ah! God juice. Fantastic. Exactly what I need to fuel my gameplays. And it's even purple! To celebrate playing Spyro! <laughs> I just thought I may as well. Why not? Where am I going now? I think there are several directions I may take. Um, I've already been in that way. Let's go this way. Yay! Flame chests. Because obviously I'm a vandal dragon with nothing better to do in my life! Ha! <laughs> no, in, in, in reality it's Gnastic and Autumn who's putting gems in there. A store! Path to you, freed all the dragons. Pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. <laughs> It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. That won't be necessary, yeah. kind sir. <laughs> um. Yeah. I, if we, if we, if you just start talking, we could have stayed here all fucking day. <laughs> I, I just love his cheek. Bless. So, uh, I think there's 200 gems in this world, from memory. Gotta collect them all! <laughs> Gotta get them all! <laughs> Sparrow! <laughs> the dragon! That did not work. At all. Too many syllables. <laughs> um, let's just roll on this way, then. I think I've collected everything. That beach was a secret, by the way. I just normally want to play this game, I go down there subconsciously. Um, but that's... No, 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 Oh my god! That no, 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 no. You know what that means? That's a thief! And he's stolen a dragon egg. That means I've got to get the dragon egg back from him. If they run around and you've got to give chase and... Ooh! He nearly hit me. Ha <laughs> Not today! Oh, I'll just collect all the gems from down here first, and then I'll see about chasing this thief. You die! You also die! Everything die! I am a dragon of mass destruction. Ow! <laughs> Who bumps his head on walls because <laughs> he can't see where he's going? Where am I going? Ah, yes, I'm attacking you. And attacking you. And freeing you. Gildas! Oh, that's more of a dragon's name. Spyro, my friend, how about a hint on gliding? Mm. You bet! For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump. And try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. Most of the dragons do provide very insightful insight. It's just that some <coughs> decide not to. And all they say is, Thank you for really seeing me! And it's like, no. Wish I had to freed you now. <laughs> so, find this thief. Where is he? Oh! On hold. Chest. Kill it! Ah, there he is! Get him! For some reason, they press him. Hello, everybody. Crash Test Brit here. Just remember, if you liked the video, give it a like. If you really liked it, give it a favourite. And then, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you very much. See you in the next episode. <laughs>